The Tesla Semi is officially here. The Tesla Semi is a Class 8 semi-truck that uses only electric batteries for power. In November 2017, two concept cars were unveiled. Initially, it was anticipated that production would start in 2019 and increase to 100,000 trucks annually by 2022. Production deliveries were then planned for early December with a production start date of October 2022. Elon Musk stated on Twitter that the manufacture of Tesla's long-delayed semi-truck has begun and the business will start making deliveries as early as December 1st. The manufacturer had hoped to begin producing the electric heavy rigs by 2019 when it first introduced the Tesla Semi back in 2017. Musk stated in an email to workers in early 2020 that the Tesla Semi was already in limited production and that it was time to go all out and get the Tesla Semi to volume production. However, that obviously didn't happen. However, the automaker revealed in an earnings call in April of that year that it was pushing back delivery for another year to 2021. Unfortunately, the semi's year was not 2021 as well, due to the worldwide supply chain limitations affecting the electronics and automotive industries as well as its then-restricted production capability for the vehicle's 4680-type battery cells, Tesla informed shareholders in another earnings call that deliveries would be postponed to 2022. Musk did not explicitly state that the company had already resolved its concerns with component shortages for the semi-truck. But Tesla must have at least enough parts on hand to construct semis for its initial client if it has already begun production and the delivery date is set. With its new batteries, the truck will be able to operate for 400 miles after an 80% charge in 30 minutes using a solar-powered Tesla Megacharger charging station, according to the company's first announcement. Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, announced that Tesla Autopilot, which enables partially automated highway driving, would be standard equipment for the semi. Musk stated in November 2017 that the semi would be driven by four Tesla Model 3 style electric motors, one for each of the four driving wheels without axles or differentials in between. In contrast to the Model 3's set gear ratio of 9 to 1, the mid wheels have a fixed gear ratio of 23 to 1, and the rear wheels are 15 to 1. With the battery packs positioned under the floor of the cab, between the front and driving wheels, two battery configurations with ranges of 300 miles and 500 miles were proposed. The long-range Tesla Semi would have a 620-mile range when running empty. According to Tesla, the Semi would reach 60 miles per hour in 5 seconds while unloaded and 20 seconds when fully loaded. On a 5% incline, the semi could continue to travel at a speed of 65 miles per hour. A million-mile warranty was bragged about by the manufacturer, who also claimed that maintenance would be easier than with a diesel vehicle. Tesla lowered the uphill speed specification to 60 miles per hour a month after the announcement. According to the U.S. government regulations, the weight of electric combined tractor trailers is limited to 82,000 pounds, according to media reports. The driver's seat was in the middle of the cab in the prototype that was displayed in November. There was no sleeping compartment, but there was a retractable jump seat for an additional passenger. There were no other instrument panels, just touchscreen displays on either side of the steering wheel. The windshield will be explosion-proof, according to Musk. According to Tesla, the Semi will come standard with enhanced autopilot, which provides semi-autonomous functionality. The system would allow the truck to stay in its lane and, at a safe distance from other vehicles on the highway, have emergency braking and alert the driver of any potential risks by using more radar sensors and cameras than Tesla automobiles. Additionally, Tesla claimed that new technology will detect and stop jackknifing thanks to active safety controls on the independent motors and wheels. According to Musk, the system will eventually allow several units to travel in a rail-cheaper alternative called an autopilot-based convoy that is led by a truck with a driver. At the time, just eight states allowed platooning, and they all required a human driver in each vehicle, so legislative reforms would be required to realize Musk's goal. The Tesla Semi webpage no longer contains any pricing information. There has been recent inflation that has been slightly higher than typical. The original price of $180,000 was set, and that may have been logically expected. However, Joe Biden's Inflation Reduction Act is a new element at play in this situation. 
As a result, commercial electric vehicles that weigh more than 14,000 pounds now qualify for a new $40,000 tax credit. Therefore, it seems likely that the semi will be eligible for this incentive, in which case, Tesla is free to raise the price of the semi by at least $40,000. Therefore, they are undoubtedly raising the price. The Tesla Semi's interior resembles the interior of the prototype very closely. The improved steering wheel with a capacitive touch controls from the Model S and Model X is the primary distinction. The symmetrical design with the driver in the center of the cab is still the plan, which is very cool. The dual monitor setup looks the same with live blind spot monitoring cameras, maps, and vehicle information. This must make the truck easier to drive. I'm quite curious to hear what seasoned truckers think of this in comparison to the standard setup. Despite the delays, the business was nevertheless able to get 5,000 in reservations from several well-known businesses, including Anheuser-Busch, Pepsi, Walmart, and UPS. Pepsi, which placed a December 2017 order for 100 trucks, will be the first customer to get the semis.